Hey guys, this is going to be part two of the blade comparison test. I'm going to be using these blades that I got a while ago and tried them out on various fans. So last time I did it on the 1996 12 inch super fan, but this time up next is a Westinghouse 16 inch pedestal fan. Now this fan is a modern fan, a brand new one actually, so it's kind of a contrast to the last fan which was not brand new, but it was definitely older, you know, 20 plus years. So this one's gonna be an interesting comparison. Now the next one, what I wanna do is do this test on a much older fan, the 1968 Super 16 inch pedestal fan, which we know alongside of being a 16 inch fan, it has a very large motor in it. So I'm actually pretty excited to see how the blades will fare on that fan. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be able to get that big blade up to speed, so stay tuned for that. That's coming up very soon. And uh, yeah, so this time we're gonna be using this, this uh, Westinghouse pedestal fan, and let's get started. All right, so we're starting with the original blades, and I took the grills off to make the test more fair for all of the blades, because there's no way the 20 inch one is going to fit inside of the 16 inch fan's enclosure. So we're doing it without the grills, so the blades are just going to be spinning in free air and for the sake of this test like i did last time i'm going to be running all of the blades on high speed on the fan so here we have the amp meter we're going to be checking how the current draw varies between the blades and i also have the anemometer here to test the wind speed and i have this chair here to mark the three foot distance so i can be consistent with the distance from distance from the fan every single time so here is the original blades. Let's go ahead and start it up on high speed. So it's definitely a lot quieter without the grills. Yeah, moving quite a bit more air too. Actually, this is a good opportunity to check the blade pitch. Let's see how it looks. Yeah, it's kind of all over the place, but it's pretty dang shallow on this one. So let's go ahead and check the current draw at full power. 0.36 amps for the original blades. And now for the wind speed, start up the anemometer at meters per second. Yep. Just going to rest the anemometer on top of the chair like this. The air is very choppy with these blades, so the anemometer is definitely picking up the turbulence. So the number is going all over the place. But let's take 3.5 as the number for the original blades. So let's go ahead and pop this one off and we'll try out another one. Okay, so we're going down a notch with these smaller blades here. This is a 12 inch blade, but it's much steeply pitched in comparison to the original blades. So that may make a difference. So let's go ahead and start this one up. Oh wow, that actually picked up speed really quickly. Man, it's quiet. And it seems to be pretty well balanced too. See how even the reflection is? That's usually a good sign. Wow, that's way more impressive than the first or the original blades, blade pitch. <laughs> what is this oscillator knob doing? <laughs> Somehow I didn't notice that before, but it's kind of like hopping around. Hello. <laughs> oh man. 
Okay, so we're actually drawing significantly, well, not significantly, but noticeably less current with this one, only 0.3 amps. And it feels like it's moving more air too. So let's check out the wind speed, see how that compares. Huh. Well, it's so difficult to get the number picked out because it's all constantly just fluctuating. But I guess it's moving less air, even though it feels stronger in person. Oh, actually, that's tough. What if I raise it just a little bit? That made a difference. Let's go with 3.2 meters per second with the 12 inch blue blade. Next up, we have this 14 inch nine wing blade set mounted and ready to go. So here it is. Now, for some reason, the, the hole on the blade hub on this particular blade set is kind of small, so I have to kind of press fit it on. So no spinner nut, but it's holding on just fine. The blade pitch seems kind of similar to the original, but it's ever so slightly more steeper. And also this has way more blades, four more blades than the original, so it is moving more air, despite the slightly smaller size. Yeah, this does seem to be on par, if not slightly more powerful than the original blades. Okay, so same current draw, 0 0.36, 0 0.35, so more or less the same. Now is the wind speed. This is being tricky. Hmm. You know what? This test is so inaccurate and inconsistent. I can't just even pick out a number. The problem is the air is very choppy, so the anemometer, I mean, it's just not possible for anything to detect a constant number. It just keeps fluctuating. Let's go with 3.3, 3.3, 3.4, yeah, 3.4, and it's kind of the average for the 14 inch blade set. All right, so next up we have another 14 inch blade set, but this one is a five wing blade set, similar to the original, and uh, the blade pitch is, yeah, actually it's pretty much the same. <laughs> So let's see how the performance is like. That sounds powerful. Actually, that seems to have a bit more pitch than the original. So, check out the current draw. 0.35, so slightly less than the original. But the question is, how does the wind speed compare? Oh yeah, this one seems to be more consistently powerful. Let's go with 3.6. 3 so this blade, oh, yeah, I can definitely feel the difference. Um, the airflow seems more consistent compared to the other blades where those have been very choppy and it's almost like a huge pocket of air just coming at you in chunks. But this one is a more of a constant stream of air. So it feels nicer, that's, that's for sure.
All right, next blade. And now we have the little nine bladed 12 inch blade set. This one I'm guessing is going to be the worst performing blade of the bunch, but we won't be able to confirm until we try it. Oh, that picked up speed the fastest. blade pitch but you can see how flimsy the blades are just by <laughs> you see how the blades are kind of wobbling in and out it's the the blade tip actually kind of fluttering as it's spinning which is an indication that the plastic is really flimsy actually the airflow seems pretty powerful it's very concentrated it's not too loud either Alright, so definitely the lowest current draw, which is not surprising, 0.29 amps. And in terms of the wind speed, wow, I did not expect this. It appears to be the highest out of, well, and it's going back and forth, but let's go with three point. Five, and that seems to be about the average. Wow, so it's actually not the worst in terms of the airflow. So that is kind of surprising. All right, moving on to the last blade set. All right, and last but not least, we have the 20 inch blade set. Go big or go home, right? So this one is the largest blade out of all of them and it has pretty decent pitch considering how narrow the blades are. Well, let's see how it performs. Ouch. <laughs> oh yeah, definitely the slowest out of them, out of all of them. But that is to be expected for a larger blade set. It's the quietest, that's for sure. And we are losing daylight, so I'm going to have to try to wrap this up as soon as possible. So we have decent pitch down near the hub, but that really quickly diminishes as you approach the tip, which is very thin, so you can't really add a whole lot of pitch to it anyways. So there it is running, and let's check the current draw. Yep, similar pattern as the super fan that I tested the last time, highest with this one, 0.38 amps, but it's only a small difference compared to the original. Let's check the wind speed. Yeah, I can feel it without the anemometer that the wind speed is much less concentrated on this one. Let's go with three point. Actually, it's kind of going back and forth. 3.2, because if we try to wait for a number to settle, it's not going to happen. <laughs> well, that's pretty much going to wrap up this comparison test. I had to make it a little bit quicker than usual because the sun is setting and we are losing daylight. And there it goes. So this room's going to get dark real quick real soon so i'm going to wrap up this one but just for fun i decided to pop this um, blade set back on with the grills see how it runs <laughs> kind of looks cool i'm sure that crooked badge is triggering some people including myself all right so Oh, what just happened? The spin down time is awful. That's kind of a mystery. Not sure what happened. I'll have to um, open up the motor and probably oil it. But that was strange. Um, anyways, guys, so that's going to wrap up this blade comparison test. And oh, where did I put the rest? Here we go. So stay tuned for more. I'm going to do the 1968 16 inch superfan next, which hopefully is going to be much more interesting 
because that motor packs some serious power. So anyways, that's going to be it for this one, so thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.